Can't find the video footage you're looking for in Canva? Well, in this tutorial, I'll share with you my top six websites to download free stock videos. Let's go. What is up everyone, Ronnie here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about ways you can find free stock videos on the internet. And this will be particularly useful if you are a Canva free user, meaning you don't have access to all the videos in the Canva library. And I'll be talking about my six favorite websites to find these video clips, these free video clips. And I will emphasize on the free because nothing I'm gonna show you requires you to pay for anything or to subscribe to anything. It's absolutely free. And I I decided to show you these websites in order of preferences. So I'd start with the one I prefer the less, I would say, and then make my way up to my absolute favorite website to find stock images. All right. So that's the way I'm going to be presenting the websites one by one. And the goal is obviously to help you create better video in Canva, to find these resources, to create your YouTube videos, to create your Instagram reels, your TikTok or your YouTube shorts. You will need this quality footage. So this video is all about that, finding these video assets. Oh, and before we start, I'm going to share with you a list of the websites that didn't make my top six because I just judged that the other ones were better, but maybe you have a different opinion. So I will leave that entirely up to you. I'm not going to talk about them, but I want to show you that list. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to count to three and then show that slide so you can take a screenshot. All right. So if you're ready, one, two, three. Gotcha. All right, seriously now, <clears throat> uh, one, two, three. So there you go. And with that being out of the way, let's start reviewing these six websites to find free stock videos. Coming up at number six, we have the website Vid easy that says free HD stock footage and 4k videos. So this website has a decent amount of free video footage. And what I like about it is that you can clearly distinguish the free stuff from the paid or the pro stuff here. They call it pro. So anything that doesn't have one of these green, I would say label right here, it's just, you know, for a fact that these videos can be downloaded for free and you can start your search from the search bar right here on top. You can browse the newest video that have been added. So you will see a view like this one. And you see that you have not only video footage uh, presented to you on this website, you also have sorts of like green screen type of videos. You also have animations. So you do have a bunch of different things. But for the sake of remaining consistent, I'm only going to talk about stock videos in this tutorial. So you can search by uh, the newest videos added or you can browse by category, which is quite cool. Let's try the category and see what's in here. You see we have a bunch of categories and subcategories, which is pretty cool. I would say we have 12 different categories, which is not too bad. Let's go back to the home page very quick. All right, let's try searching for something. Let's try searching for our frog again. So when I type in frog, I have seven royalty free stock videos matching my request. And I see here on the left side, a couple of uh, filters, which is pretty nice. So I can filter by file type. So stock videos or after effect files. All right, so I'm going to filter by stock videos, still seven, and then uh, types of licenses. So you can read about the different licenses, which I strongly recommend you do for every single website I'm going to show you. In many cases, you will be able to use these video footage that you will find via these websites for both commercial use and personal use. But sometimes there are slight differences and all of these websites will have clear guidance for you about how to use them, like what you can do with the type of license you're getting when you download them for free. So pay attention to that. I'm not going to put much emphasis in the tutorial about the licensing stuff, but just know that this is your obligation to understand them and to use them properly. Sometimes you'll have to mention the creator. Sometimes you will not be able to use them for video use. So because it's so much like case by case, I prefer to warn you and to maybe show you where you find this information about licenses, but not going to go deeper about them. All right. So what else do we have? We have resolution filters. So ranging from the lowest resolution to ultra HD or 4K videos. So that's pretty cool. And then format. So let's see if we have any yellow frog in here. We have one that looks kind of like orangey. So this will be good enough. Let's play a little bit of that. 
it's cute. All right, so from here, I have my license information. I have this comment section. I can leave a comment if I want. I can leave a review of this uh, file, which is great. And I have the option to favorite and also to share this specific video on different social media platforms right here. I have a little bit of information. And then at the bottom, I have similar searches and a couple of tags. So this is pretty cool. I can download this for free. So if I click here, this is what you'll get. Your download will begin automatically. And this is a five second waiting period. And if you don't want to wait these five seconds, you can always upgrade to the premium. I'm gonna close this window. Let me go back to my searches. So what I will do now, I want to show you the benefits of logging in, of creating an account for these different websites. So here, you will see here, I have a profile picture, meaning I am logged in. See, I could log out, not gonna do that right now. So logging in was completely free, obviously. But one of the benefits of logging in of creating your account is that you will be able to interact more with the content on the platform and also to favorite, like you can add this one to your favorite by simply hearting it, leaving a review or a comment. This is something also only logged in users can do. And if I go back, I'm gonna heart another one. I'm gonna heart this one as well. There you go. Another benefit of logging in to the website, and let me show you from my dashboard right here, you will see your recently viewed images. So the last 30 days, which is not too bad. I have a couple of different things right here that I have viewed. So this is kind of like a historic of uh, everything I've consulted on the website and also my previous download. So this is also pretty cool because then I can come back to them, re-download it if I lost my file. So that's pretty cool. And then the last benefit of being logged in is that you can obviously access your favorite folder. So for that, just click on your profile picture, go to my profile, and from here, you'll see your favorite and see all of your favorited videos. So from here, you can remove the heart if you want to. And you can see right here at the bottom of my screen that this video has been downloading. I can show you a very short clip of it. So everything went fine. And yeah, so that was the first website I wanted to show you, VidEasy. And it is a good stock video website, but I believe there are better ones out there. And talking of which, let's move on to website number five on my list. And this one is called VidEvo. So this is what VidEvo's homepage looks like. Quite, I would say, standard video library website. And from here, you have your search bar. Okay, so it says free stock video footage. You have your search bar and you can search for different types of assets as well. So videos and within videos, you have footage, motion graphics. But you can also search for music and sound effects, okay? So let's go back to our good old frog search and see what we get from here. Let's start a search straight away. And the first results I'm presented with in my search here is just a bunch of sponsored results, okay? So don't click on the first row of results right here because these are sponsored by iStock. So if you click here, you will be redirected to iStock, which is a commercial website. You won't get your free stuff from there. But scroll down a little bit and you will find a bunch of different results about Frog from VidEvo. All right, so right here, you have to know the difference from the get-go between a free and a paid stock footage. The paid ones will have this little lightning symbol on them and the free ones would just say free so there is a large amount of paid content but also some free ones so talking about that yellow frog like this one would have been great but it is unfortunately a premium stock video so i cannot download this one let's go back to my search result another yellow frog right here would have been nice but not for today, Ronnie. I'm only about the free stuff today. So maybe I use the filters right here. VidEvo has a nice set of filters, I would say. So I could filter only the free clips. So that sounds good. I'm gonna take out, like untick the premium clips and see what's going on here. Now, sadly, I don't see any more frogs and I'm still searching for frog which is kind of odd because I don't see any frog footage right here. So the filter is a bit of a hit and miss because yeah, when I take out the free clips, I don't see any frogs anymore, but I've seen some free frog stuff before. So where is that go? So maybe the tagging system was not properly made on the website. Anyways, you have different types of filters right here, your resolution, your license type, categories. So let's go back to the homepage and do another search. Okay. I'm going to search this time for coffee. 
Okay, coffee, bunch of coffee videos. Let's try the filter again. Let's see if it was a tagging problem or if it's a recurring problem. I want to filter only the free stuff. So I'm gonna untick premium clips. And now it seems like this search is much better than before because I do see a lot of coffee stuff and only the free stuff. So this makes me a little bit more optimistic about this website and I'm gonna choose one. Let's say I want one with an espresso. I kind of want an espresso right now, but it's already 6 p.m. So I definitely should not have an espresso. But uh, okay, let's have a fake espresso on video. So when I click on the I button right here, I can see more info about this video clip. And I see the duration, resolution. I can see this is a 4K clip, the size of the clip, aspect ratio, the frame per second, and the format. So this is quite a lot of information about this video clip can download it for free. Let's try to see what the download experience is like. Attribution is required. So that means that if you want to use that clip, you need to attribute the credit properly. So if you wonder how to do this, just click on how do I do this? You will have the info there. Okay, let's download this clip. Attribution is required. So you're reminded that your attribution is required, but my clip is already downloaded. It is right here. So let's have a look at the clip. Make sure it is properly downloaded. And there you go, I see my barista making an espresso. All right, so this is nice, this works perfectly, didn't have to pay for anything. And here again, I have created an account on Videvo, okay? So I am actually logged in, you see Team Rondi. There was no way of adding a profile picture on this one, but as a logged in user, you can also access or unlock specific features like favoriting your videos with the heart button right here, but also add your uh, video right here to a collection, which is a very nice organizational feature. So I'm gonna create a collection. I'm gonna call this coffee, just coffee, and create that collection. And now I have a collection. I've added this video to a collection. I can go to my collections. So if I go to my collections, I can do so from my profile right here, go to my collections. This is where I will find them. Let me get rid of that download. And I have my coffee collection with only one video. But if I keep adding more videos to that collection, let me do that now by going back to the homepage, searching for coffee again. And so for example, let me find a nice free one. If I want to add this video of the beans falling in slow motion, I can simply hover over the plus button and add this to a collection to my coffee collection. And there you go. It is now added to my collection. You can access it again from here click on your coffee collection and you have your two video clips. So these are just like handy features that you can unlock by logging in. And again, completely free to log in. All right, let's go back to the homepage and see what else I can show you about this website that I like. Oh yeah, one other thing that I like is their large amount of collections. Okay, if I click on the collection button, I see that they have quite an extensive list of collections. Unlike the other website before that had about 12 collections, this one has a very large number of collections. And I love that the first collections that I see here are kind of seasonal collections that I might need content about these specific topics right now. I mean, now you see Halloween stuff because at the time of shooting this video, it was still Halloween. So there you go. I love the collections on Videvo. I think they are very carefully curated and the way they present it to you in a timely manner is very clever as well. All right, moving on to website number four on my list. This one is called Mixkit. So this is Mixkit homepage right here, free assets for your next video project. So you do have stock video, stock music, sound effects, and video templates. Let's focus on the stock videos. You have a couple of uh, categories, nature, drone shots, technology, people, etc. You can see more. So let's go over all of the categories and see what we have here. One thing you need to know is that uh, Mixkit actually belongs to Envato. Okay, if we scroll all the way down, you see that Mixkit is made by Envato Elements. So the company Envato owns this stock video library. And therefore, most of the time when you search for something, let me search for my frog right here. The first bunch of results you will be presented are from Envato Elements, which are not free. Okay, so this first row, again, is kind of like an ad 
for you to click on a website where you will have to pay. So try not to click on these. And when I started researching these websites for this video, I always thought, okay, well, I clicked on them and then I landed on Envato or Shutterstock or whatever. It's quite annoying that they do this, but I guess that's the way for them to monetize these free websites and the fact that they are giving you free video footage. So basically you have to be smart, not click on the ads, but it could be kind of tricky to see what's an ad and what's not, but there's usually a visual difference between the first row and what's coming next. Okay, so if I scroll the free results, I will see a bunch of 4K videos of frogs, which look nice. So let's see if we have a yellow frog. That would be nice. Oh, I thought the guy was burning a frog, but it's a glass frog, so no problem. We have two pages. Don't see any yellow frogs, fortunately. Oh, we have this one, kind of yellow. I would say black and yellow. Okay, so when I click here, what I can do is I can download this video in 4K resolution, but that's a premium option offered to me, or I can download this video in low resolution for free. Yeah, let's do this. So I'm gonna download, click here and the video starts downloading. So that's good. So I can also buy the commercial license and the higher resolution by purchasing like the same video on the paid website, which I'm not gonna do. So I have some info about this video right here. So that was pretty straightforward. Let me show you the video itself. So there you go. And this should be a 720p. So if I go on get info, and bring that window right here. I should see the resolution of this file. Yes, 1280 by 720. So it is a 720p video, not a 1080 video, which is okay, but it's not the greatest resolution. So this is what you get. And you could probably get some other, maybe higher resolution videos on Mixkit. For that, I'm gonna go back to the homepage. One particular thing about this website on Mixkit is that there is no option to log in. So I search for a good amount of time. There is actually no way to log in and access or unlock additional features. So what you see is what you get here. So back to the homepage right here. And from this homepage, what I'm going to do, I want to click on stock video, okay? Awesome stock video clips. So I'm gonna start from here. And I see a menu right here at the top with some categories. Okay, so I have some backgrounds, Thanksgiving, Christmas, remember kind of the same thing, like they're presenting to you what's hot right now. And you'll see vertical and vertical will give you a collection of vertical video footage, which is going to be super useful for creating your IG reel videos, your uh, TikTok and your YouTube shorts. So these are actually great vertical footage that you can use. You have some animated textures like so gradients. So those are very nice uh, for creating videos. Oh, I have frog as well. Let's see this vertical froggy thing. It looks cool. So you see here, we have more options. Before we only had the choice to download this in 720p, but here it seems like we can go and download the full HD resolution. So let's go and do this. Yeah, it's downloading right here. Still have the prompt to buy it, but it's right here, it's in full HD. So yeah, I like Mixkit better than the other two sites for two reasons mainly. First of all, you don't have to log in to access any additional features. And second, this vertical video footage collection, which I believe today you absolutely need these kind of resources to create your shorts, your TikTok and your reels. So yeah, having this collection of vertical videos is actually a really good call from Mixkit. And for this reason, it is number four on my list. Hey guys, I hope you're liking this video. If you do, please leave me a like. This really, really helped me right here on YouTube. Just one second, small like. There you go, thank you. All right, moving on to website number three on our list, things are getting serious. And website number three is called Cover. Cover has this darker theme and also has, I don't know, something about it that makes the stock footage that I find here, they look more cinematographic. And after browsing around the website and reading a little bit about the project, about who is behind cover, I understood why it is so, because it is made by people who are video producers, videographers. And so most of the shots, most of the stock videos you'd find here 
have this very aesthetic vibe to them. So that's why I ranked it at number three because the quality of the shots that you'll find here are really, really good. You will not find as many stock video footage on the website, but the ones that you'll find will be top notch. All right, so let's continue our tradition to search for our yellow frog right here. I'm just gonna type in frog. So again, be careful when you land on your search result page because usually the first uh, thing you will see will be ads and here again, it is the case. These videos are from Shutterstock and therefore will not be free. So just scroll past them until you see some free frog stock videos, okay? And so this is what I get for frog. Not many frogs here. So, oh yeah, there's a frog hidden in the tree here. Same kind of footage. And then the lady here working on a computer. Maybe she's searching for frogs as well. Okay, so not so many frogs. I told you, like, you'll find less stuff on this website, but the stuff you'll find is good. <laughs> so let's try coffee. Coffee and see. All right, passing through this. Oh yeah, we have some good stuff here. We have this guy right here enjoying a coffee. Let's see. Yeah, so you have some information. This has been seen a certain amount of time, downloaded a certain amount of time. So I can download from here directly. I have this little drop down arrow, can download this in full HD, or I can download it in its original size. So you'd have a larger file, but you can have a 4K footage. Can I actually download the 4K footage? Yes, I can, and it's downloading right here. So I can say thanks. I can actually donate also to the contributor, which is nice. And I've read on the cover website that though these videos are free for us, the users, they, so cover, are paying the videographers for the videos that are being showcased on the platform. So I really like that. And I like that you can contribute if you like the footage by making a donation right here. Okay, so this guy right here drinking his coffee. One thing I want to make clear from here is that some of this footage can also be found in the Canva library, okay? So what I'm gonna do is to show you because actually Cover is one of Canva's contributor for the stock video library. So I'm gonna copy this information right here and I'm gonna head over to a Canva uh, document right here and search for my video tab, okay? And I'm gonna paste that description, make sure I filter by free. Okay, apply filter, okay, enter, and there you go. That's what you see. I find the same footage of the same guy drinking the same coffee. So if I click on the three little dots, I see that this video is by cover.co. So cover.co is actually a contributor to the Canva library. So some of the footage from the website will be in the Canva library. I don't know if all of them, to be honest, it's very hard for me to know if it's all of them or part of them. But yeah, just know that you can find them. And this is a free footage in the Canva library by any means. So because I filtered only the free one. So even free users will have access to these. And if you want to find them, what you can do is simply in your video search here, you just type in cover like so. You will see one video, but you can click on the three little dots and view more by cover, okay? cover.co and then there you go you will see all of the videos from cover from here but i find it more convenient to search from their website because the website is so much better in terms of searching experience than the little object panel in canva and you can see a bunch of different tags so i can go back to my coffee tag and just like the other website there are some benefits of being logged in of creating your account like for example the possibility to create collections and add your videos to specific collections with this tab right here so no collections yet let's create a coffee collection as well. So just like so, you have your coffee collection and you also have access to your uh, download history from here. The download option in that menu, you see you have downloaded this particular video, which is right here. We haven't checked it yet, but there you go. The video is right there. Very good resolution for this video as well. And in terms of licenses, all of the footage you find on cover will be completely free to use for you. You don't have to mention anyone. So yeah, I found that information in there about section. Yes, we said 
free. So you can read that if you want, but really they want to empower entrepreneurs, dreamers and builders to launch their next video project a little easier. So they put these video footage at their disposal, though they pay the contributors, which I found quite interesting. And therefore I would recommend you use Cover to find your next video footage. That was number three on my list. And now moving on to the second position. So my second most favorite stock video website is a website that Canva actually owns. It's called Pixabay, all right? Pixabay is a massive stock photo and stock video library. It is also a community, which is something I really like about Pixabay. It's not just a stock website, it's also a community where people can interact and people can vote and people can do a bunch of different things you cannot really do on other stock video websites. So let me show you what I liked about Pixabay. First, the fact that there is so much content on this site is quite right impressive. So just that deserves to be quite high on my ranking because there is a lot of stuff right here. And you see here it says over 2.7 million high quality stock images, videos and music shared on this website. So the way you start your search is very easy. You just search with the search bar. Uh, so let's go for my frog as usual. I'm going to make sure I filter this by videos. Okay. And I just hit enter. So I can see here there are 87 free videos of a frog, uh, which I can use. They are all in HD. So I kind of like that. And when I hover over this video footage, I can see how many people have liked them and how many people have commented on them. So each clip has a bunch of comments, which is the community vibe I was talking about. Like people can express what they think about a specific clip or just say thank you. So scrolling down here, I see that Finally, I find a yellow frog. So this guy right here is a video of a yellow frog that I believe I can download for free. Let's download it. Oh yeah, and I can even choose the resolution up to full HD. So let's go for a full HD video. I'm gonna download this. So again, I can say thank you to the video author, which is Aikta06 on Instagram. So I can follow Aikta on Instagram, which is really cool. But I can also follow him on Pixabay, on this platform right here. Again, community vibe. So yeah, this is really nice. I can give him a like, definitely deserves that like. There you go. I can add this video to a collection because I am logged in. If you're not logged in, you can still download the video, but you won't be able to get involved with the community, I would say. So I can create a collection. This will be my yellow frog. Yellow frog, and this deserves a heart. A yellow heart. Okay, yellow frog. That makes this collection private. I don't need to share my yellow frog with anyone. There you go. I have created my collection. It is right here. I can access it via my profile probably or my collections right here. So yeah, I can see my yellow frogs and there will be one video in it. I can also see my download history and probably somewhere I can also see the videos I've liked see or saved. So, so far, none of them. So if I go back to my yellow frog footage right here, I can do a couple of things. I'd already added it to my collection. I can leave a comment. I would say, thank you so much for this yellow frog and I will give them the yellow heart because I think it was nice. I mean, this is the only one yellow frog I've been finding so far. So you can participate in the community. I'm going to also follow his profile right here on Pixabay. And this is something you can do only if you're logged in again. So this is great. I can browse his profile and there you go. You see the video author or the videographer profile and you'd see uh, all of their footage, all of the stuff they have uploaded. So really like this community vibe about Pixabay. And also it's ad free. I haven't seen any ads so far. Oh yeah, maybe I've seen ad when I tried to type in yellow frog instead of frog. And there, because there was no video tagged with yellow frog, could not find it. Also something worth mentioning is that because Canva owns Pixabay, you will find a lot of these stock videos inside Canva as well for free. But it is much easier to search from here and I do not believe all of the video footage are actually on Canva. So therefore I think it is highly worth it to come and create an account on Pixabay and start using the website from here. And now let's discover my absolute favorite website for finding free stock videos. Are you ready guys? Drumroll. 
favorite stock video website is Pexels. And the funny thing is that Pexels is also a company owned by Canva. They acquired Pixabay and Pexels, I think pretty much at the same time, about a couple of years ago already. So let's quickly have a look. By default, you will land on the home, which uh, will show you a bunch of photos. But if you want to focus on the videos, just simply click on the second tab right here. Then you will see a video header. That's how you would know you are actually searching for videos. So the home page is actually very clean. I like that white aesthetic, kind of minimal aesthetic, and also like monocolor kind of vibe on the website. You have white and you have the green brand color of Pexel, which looks very clean. Also, it seems like when I browse through these videos, there is some sort of aesthetic, like a, a clean look and a consistent look on all of these video footage. At least that's the impression I get. There is very much less clutter on this website. And I believe this is the main reason why I chose this website as my top favorite one because the video looks great, but also the experience is quite uh, enjoyable because there is less noise on this website. So let's go ahead and search for our frog right here. Let's see if they have yellow frogs. So again, by default, you land on photos, but I want to search for videos. So let's make sure we are on the video tab. There are a bunch of different tabs right here that are quite accurate, like frogs, lizards, snake, bird, toad. So all of these could be related to frog. So yeah, that's good. I don't see the yellow frog though, but the quality of these footages look quite amazing. Let's click on one to see what we can do from here. So you see the video looks very high resolution. So from here, I can definitely download the video. And if I click on the little arrow, I see all of uh, the resolution options. So let's go for the highest resolution and download this size, okay? I can say thank you to the creator, which is Pixabay uh, themselves. I can follow Pixabay right here, follow them on Pexels. So that's quite funny to follow Pixabay on Pexels, but let's go ahead and do this. I'm following them, a video by Pixabay. And I can also easily copy the credit right here if I want to give credit and just click here and this will be copied to my clipboard. All right, so what else can I do here? Let me close this. Now I'd like to see a little bit more results here because 23, it's a good amount, but I'd love to have more choice. So let's go for our other search about coffee. Probably we'll have more results about coffee at yeah, 6.8K. So a lot of videos about coffee. Let me show you the filtering options. So if you click on filters, you see that you have two types of filters by orientation or sizes. Orientation is quite good because you can filter the horizontal from the vertical shot. So this is quite useful. And you also have some square shots for your Instagram feed, for example. So let's go for vertical and find a nice coffee shot. Like, ooh, this uh, cappuccino looks really good. So from here, a couple of things you can do. You can add to collection, just like we had before. I'm not gonna create another coffee collection. You can heart the footage right here and therefore favorite it. And then you can go straight to the uh, author's profile right here. So Matthias Bertelli from Brazil. So you can follow the creator like so. You can visit his profile and you can even message him. You can follow him on other social media platforms and simply discover their work. So Pexels also has this great community vibe to it. It's just cleaner, I would say, than Pixabay. The user experience is a little bit more simplified, and that's really what I love about this. Just be aware that a lot of stuff you can find here in Pexels will also be available for free in the Canva search panel, but the user experience is just so chef kiss right here that it would be a shame not to come here and actually visit try it out or experience the the community here on Pexels. So there you go, guys. These were my top six websites to find free stock videos. Let me know in the comment section which one of these six was your favorite. My favorite was Pexels, but you might have a different opinion. Also, if you've watched this video until the end, meaning right now, leave me an emoji in the comment. Like start your comment with an emoji. Are you a frog person or a coffee person? Leave me a frog emoji, a coffee emoji, and let me know which one was your favorite. Favorite. Also, let me know, I, and I know a lot of things I want you to write in the comments. I want to have a conversation because I read every single comment right here. I 
underneath this video. So let me know if you're interested in more videos like this one. Maybe you want to know how to find music, how to find sound effects, how to find more graphics than what you have in Canva. And I can do some research and present you the best websites I find out there on the internet for finding these resources. So let me know all of this in the comments. Thank you for watching until the end. I'm going to leave you guys with this other video right here, which is about finding free stock images this time. My top five websites for free images. So make sure you watch this one next.